new Ultra Vegito video out for today. Today is Sunday. You guys know what it is. Um, yeah, man. Let's just see, bro. Let's just see what Ultra Vegito has in store for us. The title of today's video is Ultra Vegito Kills Liquor, God of Universe 8, man. Man, we're taking a dark, we're taking a dark, naughty turn for Vegito, man. This is where things get uh, to the point of no return, right? But I mean, he, I mean, he's already lost it, right? He's already lost it. So enough talk, man. Like I said, uh, we we look at the we look at Ultra Vegito's story every Sunday. I think in the future I will be incorporating more reactions, uh, probably like twice a week. But we'll see to like other stuff as well, other Dragon Ball Z stuff. Anyway, enough of this. Ultra Vegito, let's get this party started, man. Let's get to it. So our story continues with the cold Ultra Vegito standing poised, rooted to the spot as all around him swarm sparks of dark electricity. His shirt is off, revealing a perfect form, as though his muscles are carved by hand one by one. We've never seen a Saiyan like this before in the history of Dragon Ball as he continues to mutter I will make this right no matter what I am okay so last time we were here with Ultra Vegito's story um so the gods erased the gods I mean obviously it's the gods right the gods erased earth and new Namek and he's like he's he went full rage mode pretty much right <laughs> and also also we uh, freed him a pain that none of us could ever understand. Slowly, words begin to come from his gritted teeth. My, my family, they're all gone, taken from me, and I didn't even get the chance to save them, to fight for them. And now, the Dragon Balls, they're gone too. Why? For one mistake, they took everything else everything there's an unnerving coldness to ultra vegito stare i mean because like this timeline should be like after the granola art because vegeta had the the earring the earring right but a thought comes to him i mean so what about those dragon balls like from manito or, or like did they did they did they get destroyed i kind of forgot i can't let this be but i also can't jump to conclusions I have to know for sure what happened. They deserve more than this. I deserve more than this. Ultra mm -hmm. Vegito then grabs the staff and peers into it. And sure enough, it soon begins to show an image. All right, let's see. The scene shifts to show our big blue earth perched effortlessly in the great expanse of space. The other planets lurking in the background. <sighs> But as we zoom in closer, okay, so this is 10 years in the past when he first got locked up, right? Gods of destruction are seen for the first okay, time got it. all together on the planet of our heroes. Their looks a mixture of contempt and sinister pleasure, as if they know exactly what they are about to <laughs> yeah, do. Man. And Chumpa, with the most sinister smirk, then says, as he looks around to Belmod. I guess it's time to get this party started. You guys ready to have some fun? <laughs> I know oh. I am. Oh, this gosh. is the planet where those dirty scum grew up. And from what I hear, they even have some offspring around here. Along with a ton of his comrades that all affiliate with that god killer. Belmod in response looks angry. A sneer smeared across his face as he then responds. <laughs> How disgusting. How did Beerus even let such a pathetic planet exist? It's not like him to allow such disobedient... Hey, man, this is this is a nice planet, bro. We have good food, man. Don't talk about our planet. <laughs> those Saiyans gone. But I guess he just missed a few and got lazy to do anything about it. Utterly despicable beer. Oh, you mean he got lazy? He could have just Akai them. <laughs> what? Suddenly, though, Belmont notices some power <clears throat> levels arriving. His attention okay. is drawn to the sky, where four bright lights get larger and larger. Their power surges increasing as they get closer, too. And soon enough, as we zoom in, we see the four okay. are none other than the protectors and Z-fighters of Earth. 
Gohan, Yamcha, Krillin, and Piccolo. Eventually, they reach the gods, and Gohan is immediately surprised at their presence. But he has one thing okay. on his mind to ask, and he <coughs> says, Hey, that clothing. You're the gods of destruction, aren't you? I remember you from the tournament. I don't know why you're here, but Dad and Vegeta have been missing for weeks now. Nobody's been able to get a hold of them. Fear us all weeks. Have you got any idea what's going on? For a moment, there's a stalemate as the okay. gods just stare back at these mortals who dare address them so casually. And even Krillin comments, Uh, guys, they don't seem like they're in the talking mood. Hey, Krillin, Krillin gets it. <laughs> Krillin gets it. I have a bad feeling about this. Eventually, though, from behind the gods, Licker, the god of destruction of Universe 9, appears, looking completely angered by their approach, responding, uh, Your dad and Vegeta. How interesting indeed. No wonder you thought you had the right to demand answers from a deity. <laughs> okay, here we go. That this child is one of the god killer's spawn. But instantly shot <laughs> Piccolo as he hears the term god killer being connected in any yeah, way Piccolo. to his friend Goku. As he continues, Yeah, Piccolo, man, he knows. What did you just say? Did you just call Son Goku and Vegeta god killers? Oh, 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 This is a scary situation, man. No, it's not impossible, Namekian. It's the truth. His father and Vegeta, the traitors of this universe, have been sentenced to death for their actions. Erased for the crime of killing Universe 7's God of Destruction, Beerus. A crime we shall not stand for, and one that has still not had its toll paid. What? <sighs> no. And in unison, <laughs> yeah, Piccolo. Piccolo knows what's up, man. Piccolo knows what's gonna happen, bro. To alleviate the situation. What? No way. There has to be some kind of mistake. They wouldn't do that. But Gohan is having a harder time receiving this information than yeah. anybody else. Makes sense, makes his sense. Mouth is wide open, sweat glistening on his face. Something inside him has clicked. He's not worrying about what they think his dad has done. He's worrying about what they've done to him. Tell me, you didn't just say those words. You erased my dad, as in her kind? You mean not even the Dragon Balls can ever bring him back now? You think you can just say that and oh. get away with it? Oh no! And instantly, something snaps in Gohan. The same feeling covers his body as when he first saw Android 16 die before his eyes. <laughs> and with a roar that has now become unlike Gohan, he screams loud. Powering up, the energy surging around his body, being immense. <clears throat> his hair stands on end, reaching to the heavens. His fists pulled up and pointing down towards hell. The I mean, place, he wishes to send these gods who took his father away. I mean, is that gonna do anything, bro? Oh my gosh! No, go high, no! Oh my gosh! This is not gonna end well, bro. Yep, see. Oh Look at this. It seems that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? Can't say I'm surprised. I guess that means we have another <coughs> god killer on the loose that needs to be put down. Ridiculous. Handle him now, liquor. So we can be done with this. Just like that, Licker instantly teleports in front of Gohan, responding, Gladly. Oh. Gohan, seeing this though, instantly stops in his tracks 
as in front of him is now a ball of her kind. Yeah, the Gohan, bro. You got to get out of there, bro. Shot. <laughs> Gohan can't help but think in fear. Huh? How did he get there so fast? I barely saw him move. What is that energy? Is that? But determined to not waste any more time, the orb of destruction energy begins to grow at an alarming rate. And Licker opens his mouth wide and yells, You filthy mortal! Time to pay for your father's sins! Hakai! Oh. oh no! For a brief moment, Gohan is mentally lost in a state of shock. Okay. He has no idea what oh no, Gohan! Oh uh, damn. Disappearing as he's frozen in place. Yeah, he was the first one to go. There isn't a single trace left of Son Gohan. The Saiyan who once had the most potential. Oh damn. Oh damn, yeah, look at Piccolo, man. Damn. him. Even though he is now dust. Piccolo, man. Piccolo's the goat, man. 100 percent Watching as someone he has seen grown from a child completely go away. As he yells, No! Go on, please hold on! But Krillin didn't even get to finish crying out for God. Oh no, what is happening? Changes as something doesn't feel right. Something is off. A sudden and sharp pain in his chest beginning to emerge and when he looks down it's soon revealed Krillin has been tragically shot with an arrow made of destruction enemy oh wow missing his chest and going straight through the other side alright Kr Krillin Krillin is done for it bro and mutter, what oh why me as we then see his soon to be yeah, Krillin, I get you, man. <laughs> I, I got you, bro. I got you, man. Oh my gosh. Bro, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna have some nightmares tonight, bro. Oh no. Nice. That's a perfect shot. Told you, fools. I knew these Hakai arrows would come in handy. Well, that's my part done. One less threat to the gods removed. You're welcome. Oh well, yeah, yeah. One less threat, right? <laughs> right. He could he could definitely destruct those disky, right? Hundred percent. Okay. Damn that boy Krillin, man. Damn. Oh man. Powerless to stop his friends, his loved ones from being erased. Mm -hmm. He feels at this moment he either fights and dies or dies without a chance. Like the mm -hmm. rest. He shouts out to Yumcha, gritting his teeth. Yumcha, listen to me. We don't have much time. I need you to back me up while I attack. This is our last chance to save Earth and everybody we love. What? Oh no. <laughs> Soon finds his words interrupted as he now stares into a sight that no mortal could <laughs> ever see, even in their worst nightmare. What's that? Surrounding Piccolo are four gods of destruction. Well, where's Yamcha? Nutella, Cedra, Rumshi, and Arak. Their hands. Oh, Piccolo, get out of there! Go! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Bro, where, where's Yamcha? Hello? No, their speed can't even keep up with them, especially when their key is undetectable. In a last ditch effort, Piccolo looks to Yamcha for some backup and yells, Yamcha, we've got no choice. Use your solar. <gasps> but as Piccolo turns around, he shockingly notices <laughs> that not even a trace of Yamcha remains. Could he have been taken out already by the gods? No. He's still alive. Just flying away with his eyes, 
full of tears yelling. Oh, wow. For that, I'm out of here. <sighs> oh, wow. Yep. Just watches on gobsmack. <laughs> no way my stick. <laughs> <laughs> no way about sticking around with that. Oh we my gosh. On the faces of the four gods oh wow. <laughs> no way am I sticking around for that. Coward. I mean, his commie side should know that this is a losing battle, right? Like... But he couldn't do anything, right? So Goku's first great rival and Gohan's second father. Now God forever. Yeah, go Gohan's second father. <laughs> yeah. The important and most powerful fighters of Earth okay. disposed of personally, Belmont begins laughing mockingly. Okay. A humongous ball of Hakai aimed only at one place. As he commands. Fellow gods of destruction, I invite you to join me in the erasure of the god killers. See, like Yamcha running away, I mean, he just was a coward. I mean, he was going to die anyway, right? Like, what, what was he going to do? As each one of the other ten well, he's going to he's going to try to like, you know, uh, he's, well, he's going to try to like kiss a girl real quick before he gets erased or something. Like, like what is he trying to do? Like, like, was, like what do you think was going to happen? Shapes together one final time. This is for Beerus. And thus, from the silence of space, yeah, look at that. From a distance, see all eleven Hakai's impact on the Earth. Inevitably, that's literally just overkill, right? <laughs> from the city, we see a familiar young woman holding a precious baby. As the oblivious baby's face begins to vanish in the light, we all realize it is tragically Baby Pan. Yeah, Pan. Yep. Forever, she naively lets out. <coughs> Grandpa? Before just like that, planet Earth and all its inhabitants <laughs> oh are lost forever at the hands of the merciless gods of destruction. <laughs> Oh my god. Ultra Vegito is left in complete shock. <laughs> Tears flowing from his eyes. No! Those. those monsters! They really did it! Billions of people! Innocents! My family! My friends! They'll pay! They. will pay! Tears continue to flood Ultra oh, Vegito's eyes as for a moment he I feel sad for, uh, for Vegito. sorrow and pain of what he's just witnessed. In that moment, he can only call out the name of his first son. Gohan, I'm so sorry. Yeah. No! Take me to their killers now! But suddenly, in a rage, like yeah, a switch has that's... Flipped, Ultra Vegito. Oh man, if I if I was a father, bro. Like, damn. Like I, I feel I feel Vegito, man. I, I do feel Vegito. Vegito arrives somewhere foreign, in another universe, in a place he's never seen before. His fury is slowly replaced with intrigue as he looks around, wondering where Weiss's staff has taken him to. What the? Where the hell am I? This place seems so strange. I don't even know if the staff took me to where I'm Okay, so Vegito at this point, you know, he's been basically for a second. like he uh So he was trapped for ten years, right? But like he was stuck as Veg as Vegito. So I guess I could use instant transmission to pinpoint where this universe is god of destruction is hiding. Vegito places two fingers and I'm guessing he fooled healed himself and I'm assuming with all that rage he got some crazy rage boosts so I guess we'll see what happens God I can't sense a God's key signature damn it hold up maybe maybe I can Vegito then violently grabs the staff and yells out 
Take me to this universe's god of destruction immediately! And the staff then mysteriously once again does as it's told and Vegito shoots off once more, <coughs> leaving as quickly as he arrived. And Ultra Vegito then suddenly arrives on another strange planet, this time <coughs> on one very similar to Beerus's old home. Huh? Immediately lick his angel. <laughs> yep, yep, there's the angel. His eyes okay. <laughs> darting to the direction of where his senses are rising from. He informs Licker by his side, My lord, I do not mean to alarm you, but it appears that someone has arrived. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe your life may be in danger. <sighs> At first, Licker appears unbothered. But a sense of curiosity. I mean, this is 10 years after they did that, right? My life in danger. Now, who the hell would be powerful enough in this universe to make you say that, corn? Probably the god killer, you damn fox. And I think it's time to remind you why I have that name. Oh my gosh. Oh my starting the Oh my gosh, man. In his perfected form. <gasps> Who the hell is that? While Corn says, No, that staff. As Vegito slowly descends, he mockingly lets out. <laughs> oh my god. You're dumb. Oh man, oh man, <laughs> Vegito! Oh my gosh. Maybe you're starting to lose your eyesight in your old age, Licker. What? It's you! How? How is this possible? You should be dead. You should have been erased. As now Licker's face changes to one of shock as it finally becomes clear who this figure in the air is. Meanwhile, <coughs> Vegito descends laughing. <laughs> About time, you dumb fox! Oh, or damn. Landing on the ground, simultaneously <coughs> stabbing the staff into the floor for it to stand up by itself upright. Vegito huh? then continues, responding to Licker saying, But yes, fox, you're right. I should be dead, and in fact, I am, on the inside. What is before mm -hmm. you now is a ghost of my former Yeah, to be honest, I'd probably be the same I way, not gonna lie. To rest until you gods pay for what you did to Earth, to my family and friends, and for what you did to Gohan! <laughs> okay. himself on what happened to his oldest son, Ultra Vegito ferociously powers up, the ground around him cracking from the weight of such a monstrous surge of energy. His hand letting go of Whis's staff now, ready to take revenge for everything. <coughs> <coughs> what the hell is this now? This looks like both destruction energy and Ultra Instinct. Is this what Beerus was dealing with when he died? Impossible! The power of Vegito grew so great. Impossible means I'm possible. Get it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Stupid boy. The... But suddenly, from behind liquor, Ultra Vegito appears. Flying at him emotionless, but at full speed, with his arm already cocked back. And oh, damn. Push, Vegito has been waiting. Stone! Ultra Damn. Vegito slams liquor right in his face, causing the god to draw blood. As he's flying at top speed towards one of the yeah, he is not messing around, man. He said I had enough. Landing deep into it with seemingly no way to stop himself. Meanwhile, Licker's angel watches the fight unfold from the side, and surprised at what he's just witnessed, he thinks. Hmm. This mortal is like none other I have seen before. He was on liquor before he could even move. That's yep. some speed. Considering Lord Liquor is known around the multiverse for just how fast he is. Yet he didn't even have a chance to block that attack. 
Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't anticipate it either. Oh damn. I like the exposition. I like the exposition. Licker immediately burst out of the mountain, angrier than ever, living up to his appearance, <clears throat> growling like a feral beast. He stares at Vegito like he's his next meal and proclaims his next meal. <laughs> you may have killed Beerus with that kind of lucky punch. I'll give you that. But I'll be damned if you slaughter another one of us deities, you filthy mortal. Allow me to remind you why we are gods and you are just another lowly life form. <laughs> with that comment, Licker balls his fists together. Digs He's on full power. Ground and powers up. Rocks and debris blast away from him. The air around him intensifies and begins to crackle with lightning and sparks as the fox god begins emanating <coughs> a powerful destruction energy from his very skin. Okay. And from behind, he suddenly sprouts nine tails. Each nine tails, okay. A concentrated ball of destruction energy. So that's to be him at full power, right? Ultra Vegito, meanwhile, seeing this, is left completely taken aback for a second. With a bemused face, he responds. Yo, Naruto? <laughs> a nine-tailed fox, huh? <laughs> now why does that sound familiar? Thinking back to an old anime, Trunks <laughs> yep. on TV. Yeah, Naruto. Hand, doesn't find <laughs> okay. It's funny. He's serious in his <clears throat> intentions. And as he gears up to fire, I like these cameos. <clears throat> Prepare to die, God Killer. And just that's, a, that's a nice shot. I, I really like that shot right there. All nine balls of her kai shot like cannonballs, each one so dangerous, just the slightest. Have you guys ever wondered, like, how it would be if you had a tail? I kind of want, like, a like, I always wonder, like, what, what would having, like, a tail feel like? I think it would be useless though. But he stands there watching as the balls of energy approach him. <coughs> okay. Stares on coldly and thinks to himself, "That's really the best he's got. Ridiculous. I grow tired of this already. This is no challenge whatsoever. It seems I found myself at the home of the weakest god. Typical. I'll end this here." And now find the others. Hopefully, they'll at least oh make me break a sweat before I dispose of them. And with that said, Vegeta yeah, Ultra Vegito, man, he has had enough. He's done with the games. Could cut through anything. <clears throat> a true God Slayer blade. Yes. Into the, ground, the God Slayer blade. The right moment to attack, taking his time before. <clears throat> Ultra Vegeta, without any fear, shoots into the heart of the balls of energy, and skillfully he moves through them, dodging each at the very last second until. I mean, he does have UI, right? <coughs> can understand what's going on. Ultra Vegeta lands perfectly beside him, balancing on one knee. His back to him, his blade still drawn behind him, and his face looking away. As if he doesn't need to see what he's done because he already knows. Meanwhile, we see Licker's face oh, damn. decidedly different, full of shock and open mouth. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> he stands there with that frozen face. He inexplicably is still in that position and only mutters the words, "God, killer." <laughs> and we then go into the view of Licker. <laughs> at the moment can see his beloved angel caught until suddenly the angle of his view sharply changes before falling on the ground and turning in a way that should just not be possible and standing there now headless with liquor's skull on the ground <laughs> is a decapitated oh my gosh explaining exactly what we just saw the first in history decapitated guy to destruction, by the way. body eventually then falls to the ground to the back of an outstanding Vegito. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Now, not even the slightest sign of remorse. Ultra Vegito then walks over to the deceased body and looks down, saying, <laughs> 10 years. 10 years just so you can last less than a minute against me. No wonder you wanted me dead. How could a god command any respect knowing full well he couldn't <coughs> even hold a candle to a mortal? Soon, Vegito just as calmly places his hand out and using yeah. perfectly controlled destruction energy creates his own ball of Hakai. As he looks down on liquor one last time, he says, Not even death is enough for you, Fox. You and your kind erased everything I ever loved. Everything in my life that was good. They can't even mm -hmm. enjoy the afterlife because of your actions. And now, neither will you. I mean, this is like, like I'm, I'm really hearing Vegeta. I'm really hearing Vegeta, right? Like Goku, uh, you know, I can hear like a little bit of Goku, but like I'm really hearing Vegeta out of this man. Vegito walks back over to Whis's staff, ready to leave for his next destination at Victor. <coughs> but from behind, Corn calls out, Wait, Vegito. The angel has been watching patiently, and with a slight bit of hesitation proclaims, Before What does he proclaim? Go, there is something I must say to you. And what's that? The staff that you wield as your own is not for mortal use. Says who? As I'm sure you are aware that belongs to my dear brother Weiss. I know not what you have done to him, nor how you are even able to wield its power. But it's blasphemous for an angel's instrument to be handled by those it is not meant for, especially for the evil deeds you are carrying out. I suggest that you leave that here, for you have already done enough to dirty the name of the angel. And I will not stand for any more. For a moment, there is a silence <laughs> as Vegito <laughs> says nothing. Oh, to man. Him. But with a sudden and maniacal turn of his face, Ultra Vegito <laughs> is seen as he lets out incredibly. Oh, yeah? Then do something about <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. Well, what? Okay. Damn. Okay, um, okay, 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 yeah, okay, so Ultra Vegito is insane, right? I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna start adding ratings at the end of this, as what I'm gonna start doing, so I'm gonna rate this episode, um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rate this episode a 10 out of 10, bro, I'm not even gonna lie to you, this is just a, this is just a 10 out of 10, bro, like, I, like, everything in here was just amazing, the, like, I felt like you, you, you could actually feel sad for Vegito, like, you felt emotion in here, Man, you felt, um, I don't know, the bad assery. Is that even a word, bro? But, like, bro, like, just Ultra Vegeta just went on a rampage, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you. Ultra Vegeta said, I had enough, man. I had enough. And that's what I like to see. So, thank you guys for watching. Let me know how you guys enjoyed this Ultra Vegito stuff. Make sure you go ahead and check out Arch, Arch the Goat, everything, every video, always in the link in the description. Make sure you go ahead and check him out um man arge man thank you for this ultra vegeto craziness man uh anyways i'll see you guys in the next video peace out